Good morning and welcome to today's morning reports on Friday the 29th of April with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hantech Markets. We've had fairly sort of uh, significant moves again on these Forex markets. The dollar continues to be under pressure in the wake of these uh, central bank meetings this week. And uh, we have had uh, Treasury yields falling away sharply, actually, in the wake of that uh, Fed meeting. Look at these uh, falls in the wake of the Fed moves. In uh, September, December, March, and uh, I haven't yet put on that, uh, but the April meeting was uh, this one here. Um, so the Treasury yields seem to continue to react negatively to these uh, Fed moves, and uh, the dollar is under serious pressure. It's fallen now to um, the lowest since August 2015, and I'll show you the importance of that move. 92.60 um, on the trade weighted dollar is that August low, but look how important that support is. That is a massive top pattern. I'm not calling this as a big breakdown, but uh, just the, the fact that that support at 92.60 is a significant level uh, of uh, August last year. And uh, we seem to be sort of falling back towards that now. Um, and uh, yeah, the dollar is under pressure across all the, all, all the Forex majors. And you're seeing that um, across all the markets as well. You're seeing gold strongly higher and um, testing some key resistance. And um, also the uh, oil price continues to make gains as well. Um, equity markets are under pressure. Um, we've seen Wall Street falling away into the close yesterday. Uh, downside pressure from the uh, weaker than expected growth numbers. Um, on uh, the advanced reading of GDP for Q1 and uh, also Apple as well. Um, shares sold significantly uh, after disappointing results um, has certainly affected Wall Street and these moves are sort of filtered back into the European session as well, down a, around about a percent on these markets um, as I look at them. So uh, sentiment is pretty negative as we sort of look towards the end of the week. Now what have we got to look forward to today in terms of our economic announcements? Well. We have Eurozone inflation, first of all, um, and that's expected to drop again. Uh, it's not, um, sorry, it's expected to come in at 0.1% uh, negative, uh, and that uh, certainly is not a great figure there. Um, and that would, uh, again, sort of not really help the euro because uh, traction for the euro continues to be uh, sort of held back, I think, by the, uh, the uh, sort of dovish ECB. But... Um, Certainly the, dr the dollar weakness is helping to drive the euro higher, um, but uh, whether that inflation data would sort of put a curb on that uh, on that strength remains to be seen. Um, PCE for the states, uh, this is the Fed's uh, preferred inflation data, that's at 1.30. The Fed's is coming out at 0.1% on the month-on-month -month data, and that's uh, that would actually be a very slight dip on the PCE year-on-year -year data, um, back from 1.7, but uh, still... Um, not really getting a great deal of traction out of inflation in the States um, and it's something that the Fed is still obviously looking out for. And we've also got the final reading of um, Michigan sentiment at 3 o'clock. Now the final reading last month was 91 uh, and uh, this is um, the first reading that we had uh, or the flash reading I should say um, of uh, Michigan sentiment was 87.7 sorry 89.7 and it's expected to slightly improve to 90.3 or, or around about 90 if you're looking at Reuters um, estimates so that would be uh, a continuation if that were to be confirmed of this uh, decline in the uh, in the sentiment in the last few months but uh, nothing too significant but uh, still something that the Fed would also be interested in especially considering the disappointment that we had in um, consumer confidence this conference board's consumer conference number the uh, on uh, I think it was Tuesday um, that would uh, certainly be a disappointing move generally on terms of confidence so um, my chance of the day is uh, again looking at the um, dollar weakness and uh, this is the dollar ruble and uh, emerging market currencies have been um, continuing to rebound against the dollar in the last few months and as you've seen on that uh, dollar index we've got continued correction in the dollar and this uh, dollar ruble chart seems to be continuing to sort of retrace all the way back to the 60 spot 71 support that we saw of the October low and the dollar ruble le level um, seems to be no different to that. Um, you've got this sort of consistent lower highs and lower lows 
um, you've got the old support becoming new resistance. Interestingly, that old support uh, around that 76.4% Fib level has become the new resistance, and then you're sort of breaking down from that level, and you could sort of measure it a downside break target arguably um, taking the sort of width of this uh, what looks to be a bit of a trading range about 2.4 ruble uh, and if you measure that down that gives you a projection target that from the downside break below um, 64.60 back to 62.20 if I zoom out that's interestingly enough that sort of coincides pretty much with that low there on the 4th of November but it certainly looks as though now we're sort of trading clear of that 76.4% fib level that we're going to get a full retracement look at these momentum indicators negative across the board configured negatively uh, on the RSI MACD and stochastics turning lower even still with further downside potential in the current move as well uh, you'd certainly say that on the RSI and the MACD lines begin to turn low as well. So it's a, a trade I think you'd, you continue to run. And I think certainly it looks like we're going to have a full retracement back to that 100% FIB level. of um, Or 100% retracement, I should say. Sorry, back to 60.71. So um, that is, um, so what was that, about 6-7%. 7-8% but uh, down from current levels. So uh, there is certainly some legs in this move. And uh, I think rallies are a chance to sell. So if you look on the hourly chart, you can see we've got a minor downtrend uh, in the last few days. But uh, certainly the, the sort of breakdown of this old support has now become new resistance. And um, I'd be saying any rallies are a chance to sell on this chart. So I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later. Thank you.